Hey guys, Mr. B here. So this video is to talk about the conductors and insulators lab. So it is going to be again in the labs folder in the electricity and circuits unit. Um, we are going to be using this uh, simulation. So in the interactives folder, the circuit construction kit DC. So if we click on this in Schoology, it should bring us to a website with a simulation. And if we hit the play button, um, it should be able to load up just fine, whether you're on a Chromebook or whatnot. So here's our simulation. Um, as for the handout, the handout looks something like this. So we are going to use the simulator to um, predict whether or not some objects are conductors or uh, insulators. So it says here first off to select six objects from the gathered classroom samples. So in our simulator, uh, on the left here, there's this little uh, tab that we can go down on. And if we go all the way down, there are some items like a dollar bill and a paper clip and a coin and an eraser. And we've got a hand and a dog <laughs> and a pencil. So there's uh, actually, in this case, seven items, but we can pick six of them. And we're going to check to see which ones of these are going to conduct electricity and which ones are not. So I'm going to reset this to put these all back. So let's go back to our worksheet. So on the chart, we're going to write the names of each object. So object name we had, again, was like a dollar bill. Um, and I guess maybe let's go back to our simulation so we make sure we have the right things here. So we have a dollar bill, a paper clip, a coin, and an eraser. So dollar bill, paper clip, a coin, an eraser. Um, we have a hand, a dog, and a pencil. So I'm going to pick, I guess, the, the, we'll go the hand and the pencil um, because I love dogs. So I don't want to hurt the doggy. <laughs> so let's go hand and a um, pencil. Okay, uh, and it says now number three, predict whether the object is a conductor or insulator and record your predictions. Okay, so we're gonna make some predictions here. Um, for dollar bill, um, I'm gonna say that that is an insulator. So I don't think that will conduct electricity, but maybe it will. Um, paper clip, I think that is gonna conduct. So I'm gonna put conductor, okay, and so on and so on. So you can fill the rest of these ones in yourself. Uh, I'm not gonna do it for you because the fun of it is to predict yourself. So then number four, we're gonna use our uh, simulator to conduct a simple circuit to construct a conductivity test. So we are going to go back to here. Okay, let's reset this. So we're gonna pull out a battery. Let's pull out some wires. Uh, let's pull out a light bulb. And we are going to connect these up so that we can try to make a conductivity test. So um, let's do this. And then we are going to leave a little bit of a gap here so that we can um, connect the object that we are gonna try to test for conductivity. So let's leave a little gap. So the first one we have was a dollar bill. So if we grab a dollar bill and we connect up one end of the wire to that side and the other to this side, we are going to see what happens. And on our sheet, uh, we have this results here. So we're gonna write these results in when we connect this up here. So let's take a look. Let's connect this up and we see nothing happens. So if there is no current that runs through the dollar bill and the light bulb does not turn on, that would be considered an insulator. So results, it was an insulator, and we can say, um, you know, no, um, no current. So no electricity or no current is going through the dollar bill. Um, so the next one is a paper clip. So again, let's click on this dollar bill. Let's hit delete. Let's grab the paper clip. We'll connect it up here, connect up the other side, and boom, light bulb turns on. Cool. So we predicted that it would be a conductor. When we connect it up, the light bulb turns on. We see the flow of electrons going through the wires. So results here would be conductor, and we have current going through the object. Okay. So basically, we're gonna finish. You're gonna finish this off. You're gonna. Um, delete the paper clip, put the coin in there, put the eraser, put the hand, put the pencil, or whatever the uh, the six objects you chose were. Again, there were a total of seven. So if you really want to, you certainly could, you know, have the dog down here and then, you know, make your prediction and then test it out. That would be fine. But that's essentially what you're going to be doing in this lab. So hopefully that gives you some uh, direction on how to do this. And as always, if you have any questions, you can always email me. All right. Thanks, guys.